Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. We have been waiting some time for this, but we've now got part three of the fan home release of Build the Mark III Iron Man Armour. It's been a while, hasn't it? We haven't seen this for some time. I think I'll give us a quick catch up of where what we did last time. As you can see, we've got the uh, helmet that we worked on looking like that and then we've also got the boot which looks just like this you press the button here and that turns on the light underneath this fits over the top just like that so we've got two massive sections of armor that we've done straight away on this one but in part three we're going to be working on the gauntlet in fact let me show you the instructions now, as you can see this is the right hand that we're going to be working on loads of tiny pieces in this i mean look at that <laughs> it's going to be pretty difficult to uh, get all these together, I'm sure. Uh, it's going to take one battery to light this up. And as you've seen from the previous parts of the helmet, end of the uh, boot, they have got their own separate power sources and switches to actually turn them on. So I'm guessing when we turn the whole unit on, we'll have to be keep clicking all over the place to make the thing light up. Uh, but as you can see, we're going to be creating every individual finger. And then by the end of it, we're going to have a gauntlet lit up just like that. Now, I don't know if it tells you what's coming in the next issue, but I absolutely know what's coming in the next issue, and that is the arc reactor. Now, I have already done that in the trial, and that is in the playlist, but I do have it here, so we will be doing that again uh, sometime later in the week, I would have thought. We've also got issues five and six to do as well, so uh, we've got four issues in this one, so they will be on the channel later. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Now, if you want to make your life easy with this, keep everything in the box because all the finger sections are in rows of what fits together. And quite simply, all we're going to do is take the next section of the finger here. Now, we need the fingertip section of the same row there. And quite simply, this is just going to go in just like that. Now, it should fit nice and flush so there's a straight line down there. If you put it in the wrong way, you put it in that way it's going to look odd <laughs> so you can only really put it in one way just like that and as you can see we do have a screw hole through here so we're going to be putting a screw through there and that is a cp screw now all the screws are in the pack here so i'll get these out the cp screws are quite long so i've loaded this one up here and we'll be putting that through this side here and there we go and then that goes all the way through Nice and tight because it's still going to enable it to move just like that. So that's the first section done. Put that to one side. And if you look at this box again, the rows are slightly off center. So we've worked through these two compartments, but this section now is going to go to this section, this section to this section, this section to this section, this section to this section here. So we're going to need this section here. We're going to marry it off with the middle section that we just saw there, put them together, make sure we put them in the right way. And then once again, CP screw, which I've got here, and that's going to hold those two bits together. And you want to screw it in the side with the larger hole. So just load this up. Very fiddly. <laughs> Probably best to put the screw in first, actually. There we go. And then screw that in. All the way. And there we go, that's that section there. We're going to put the end of that finger together. But this time it's not a CP screw. It's going to be an FP screw. So they are there. I'm going to keep them completely the other side of the table because they look very similar to the CP. And then once again, this will be screwed in from this side. And there you go. That's another finger completed so i can put that to one side do the next one and we're just going to continue doing this for all the screws using a cp screw at the first joint and an fp screw at the second joint now this one's actually quite tight to put in so i'm gonna just help it out by putting a little bit of oil on each side there just to lubricate that up a bit to get that bit in but yeah that was uh very tight so let's try again now the oil is helping a great deal this time. There we go. So, CP screw, just through this side here, all the way in. 
then we take the end of the finger here make sure it's on the right way you also know it's on the right way because the ratchet part of this here needs to be facing down on the finger and we're going to put an FP screw just in the other end I think you can see this is a a very fiddly stage this one <laughs> there we go and that's the next finger done so put that to one side two more so we've got this piece here this piece next to it held together with a CP screw through the hole there and that one's done put the end of the uh, finger on just like that and then once again it's held in with an FP screw this time the screw holes on the other side here just to confuse you <laughs> and there we go that's the next thing you want to do them tight enough so it can articulate itself it doesn't flop around as you can see one more finger to do so we've got that here I'm putting them in order here as well so I don't lose track of where they are uh, make sure I put this in the right way and once again we're going to be putting a, a CP screw through the base here but this time on the end rather than use an fp screw we're going to be using a dp screw which is slightly smaller because obviously this finger is smaller so there's that in there we'll put that in i've got the dp screw here tighten that all the way up and there we go that's one, two, three, four fingers and a thumb. We can put them to one side for a second because now we're going to be working on the fitting the LED to the hand. So for that, we need this part here, which again is all metal. Uh, but in the middle, we're going to be putting a filter for the light. So we've got a filter for the light to put in. Now this is going to go over the two lugs you see here. And there's also a tidy little sort of locating lug just in the corner there. That's how that's going to go. So when we put it in, it's just going to sit perfectly like that so it looks like that from that side now to hold this in place we've got one screw to put in which is a bm screw so i do have that here and screw that in nice and tight and then we're going to need the whole battery box and switch which looks just like this quite a lot of stuff in here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the switch and we're going to hook it over this section here so when it goes in it goes over the top then push it down so it fits flat in there it might help to use a screwdriver just to push that down but you know you've got that in because it's going to fit perfectly flat like that and still operate now we want to take the other half of the gauntlet here looking like that this part is actually plastic and we're going to be putting the battery pack in so it's covering the lugs so that we can see each side inside so this is going to be going this way around the switch is going to go through the hole that we can just see there so I'll put the switch in, line this up, so you can see how that's going to fit in there just like that. Now that's going to be held in with BP screws. So it's going to take two of these small BP screws in here, one into a small part of one side of the battery box there, all the way in, and then just one on the other side, just over here. Make sure that's all the way in just compressing the wires down here so i'm not pinching anything when i put everything together and then we're going to be putting all the fingers in so we start with the thumb which will be going in here like that then the index finger then the middle finger and then the third finger and finally the fourth finger in there just like that so looking at where they've got the circuit board actually the circuit board i'm going to put on the other side here because there is a space for it to go on the other side so that keeps everything completely clear then so i'm just going to put the fingers back in and when i put the uh top on now theoretically all that circuit board's the bane of my life at the moment the circuit board should just drop into the vacant space there we go that's all the fingers in 
that's nice and tight so what we're going to do is now screw that together and to do that we're going to take some am screws and they're just going to go through here so here's the first one make that nice and tight and then just one more on the other side here I've already got a screw in there just so it bites everything together and you know you've done it right because you shouldn't have any of these fingers flapping around like that so that looks absolutely perfect so we need one of the 1025 batteries here let's get one of them out we only need one and we'll put this in to the battery compartment here now it's probably worth noticing that my um, battery my light wasn't coming on so I've had to take it all apart again and uh, as you can see the reason for that is because I've had a, a cable come off of that section right there so I'm gonna have to put a soldering iron on it just so you know when I push that together press the lights the light comes on absolutely perfectly so I'm just gonna solder that and get back to the point where we're at so there you go that's all soldered on the lights working let's put this all back together <laughs> So there we go this is the stage we were up to before we just put the battery in the fingers are here and said they're quite uh, rigid so that we can still turn them and articulate them uh, but this time when we push the button the light comes on <laughs> so that's all good all we need to do then is put the battery cover over the top here as you see we've got a magnet on the top we need to make sure that face is upwards just like that and that's just going to be held in with an ep screw which i've got here i'll just put that into place like this and then because of that magnet, it's going to enable us to put the last section on, which is just the cover for that whole gauntlet there. And that basically goes on this way, looking just like that. Now, if we want to put it on, basically we take this off, push the button, put the magnet back on the uh, section there. And as you can see from underneath, we've got a hand that's all lit up. So with that, the helmet that we've done in pack one or stage one, and then the boot we did in stage two, that's all there is to do in that stage. Why doesn't everything go smoothly for me? <laughs> what is it about me and having to do that? That was quite an enjoyable issue. There's a little bit of a challenge with the solder in them, but we got around there in the end and we have got a light up gauntlet. So uh, that was pack three of the Iron Man. Now, before I go, when I did have the Iron Man delivery, I did have another delivery of Star Wars bus. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at what come in those today. In no particular order, we've got the Chewbacca looking like that. The paintwork on these is actually a lot better than it was for the first ones but uh, quite heavy as well. That's Chewbacca and that's what they look like underneath. We got Kylo Ren, again, really heavy, but that's looking like that. I'll show you on the close up. Pretty cool, huh? And then lastly, we've got Darth Maul with the double lightsaber, massive figurine again. And I'll just show you a close up of the face because that's pretty much where the paintwork is. And as, as you can see, it works really good on that as well. So that is the Star Wars bust. Oop, and I haven't put these in properly. So this just goes in like that. Um, now, with the Star Wars busts, I think the first two I had was Darth Vader and a Stormtrooper. So that's what we have at the moment. We're five into that at the moment. But anyway, I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.